Wanna know what's in the coffin? The remains of a decent franchise, that's what. 2003 saw the release of Terminator 3. Not directed by James Cameron, but by John Mostow. Set 10 years after the events of Terminator 2, John Connor has left the grid and Judgment Day has not come to pass. However, a Terminator turns up and tells John that Judgment Day is inevitable. It will happen and it will happen soon. Also, he's informed that he's been hunted by the TX or Terminatrix as she's known as. This movie is a joke from beginning to end. It had a massive budget, yet it looks so cheap. It really, really looks cheap. It is like an episode of Stargate. It's, 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 it, it just, it feels so underwhelming. Second, Nick Stahl. Fantastic actor. I liked him in Sin City. I liked him in a, a really cool indie flick called In the Bedroom with Marissa Tomei. He's a decent actor, but he is no John Connor. He doesn't feel like the offspring of Sarah Connor, played by Lim Linda Hamilton from the other movies. And he certainly doesn't feel like the character we learn to love and appreciate in Terminator 2, played by Edward Furlan. This guy is just a whiny pain in the arse. Oh, it's, everything is done wrong. It's, it's, it's farcical. It is savagely farcical. I knew there was a problem when Arnie went into a strip club to get his iconic biker gear and then ended up pulling out a pair of star-shaped glasses. This, it was, it's, it's a stupid, stupid, stupid movie. They wrecked an icon. They wrecked an icon. Whatever about Alien vs. Predator, they wrecked the Terminator. They wrecked one of the coolest pop culture icons of all time in this movie. And it is astounding how this was allowed to happen. Now, according to sources, Schwarzenegger actually asked Cameron, Hey, is it okay if I do this? And Cameron told him, Yeah, go for it. Just ask for as much money as possible. And that seems to be the case. The majority of the budget went into hiring Schwarzenegger. Now, as I was saying, it looks very cheap. It was originally supposed to be shot in Canada, and at first I thought, oh Jesus, that might explain a thing or two. But it wasn't. It was shot in California. It looks like it was shot in Podon nowhere. It, it, it looks cheap. It looks like the kind of exterior sets of Stargate where, like, Tilk gets a day off and goes around the city. It's just, it feels so cheap. And, and and doesn't have the feel and the vibe of the other Terminator movies. As I said, it, it deviates so much. Terminator 1 was a sci-fi horror. Terminator 2 was a sci-fi action. This, I can't categorise what the hell this is. This is, it's a mess. That's the only way to categorise this. Christina Locken, who played the uh, TX, the Terminatrix in this she tries to do a kind of Robert Patrick thing, but fails. Not down to her, but I think down to the direction. In one scene, she's trying to distract her cop and her tits inflate. I mean, what the hell? In another, because she wasn't originally sent to kill John Connors, she was sent to kill his generals. She finds Connors' blood sample, licks it, and almost orgasms. I mean, what the fuck? Who greenlit? Who greenlit that, that scene? Is there anything good? There is one or two things. First off, Claire Danes. If you're a fan of Homeland, you know how cool Claire Danes is. Well, she's awesome in this. She plays Kate Brewster. Kate Brewster is essentially us. She's the audience. She is not um, She's not up to date on what's happened in the Terminator universe. She is, she is kind of the, the newcomer to the whole series. And she's like, robots from the future. Ha ha, bullshit. She doesn't. She's skeptical. And she's rightly sceptical. She's kind of, she's kidnapped by uh, John and the Terminator. And it's, 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 it's cool to see this character who's like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not taking this on board. And she is badass. She, she plays this kind of uh, a veterinary surgeon, but she's also an army brat. And you kind of see that in, in as the film progresses. So Claire Danes is, is a pretty cool character, and I think it was a mistake to replace her with Di Bryce Dallas Howard in Salvation because it would have been interesting to see her character develop in uh, Salvation. Uh, what else was good? 
Stan Winston. Stan Winston's practical effects are second to none. The uh, TX design without the skin and stuff looks awesome. It is a very feminine, cool looking Terminator robot. He also designed T1s. These, these kind of literally robot, proper robots, they, 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 they function as such. And his uh, maquettes and his, his, his prosthesis as always second to none but then again it's Stan Winston he's the father the alien warrior alien queen the uh, predator and of course the original Terminator he he does a magnificent job in this movie last thing I like is the ending I'm not gonna spoil the ending if you wanna watch this fucking train wreck but it does do something ballsy and interesting and it 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 is a good payoff but I don't think it makes up for everything that has happened in the movie but it, it 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 certainly is interesting and and salvation used it as a jumping point i don't know rightly or wrongly so but it was an interesting ending like all movies and and stuff that was released in the uh in the late 90s early 2000s there was a rake of merchandise uh atari released two video games first off you have uh terminator 3 rise of the machines the official movie adaption and it's a, a bog standard first person shooter mixed with a beat em up. Do you know what I think of this? That's what I think of it. If you want a good Terminator 3 game, Terminator 3 The Redemption, that's a movie tie in game to check out. It's awesome. Essentially, uh, you play the Terminator who has been reprogrammed by Kate Brewster, and uh, something happens through the uh, events of the game which causes Skynet to win the war. So the reprogrammed Terminator has to go to this alternate future and uh, prevent Skynet from uh, winning the war. Uh, it takes place in the future war, present day Los Angeles, and this kind of mechanized Skynet hell where Skynet has won the war. You play uh, Arnie, you play the uh, T-800, and you have access to a wide variety of weapons and vehicles both Skynet and Resistance, you get to use helicopters, armored jeeps, uh, hunter killer uh, aerial craft, and Centurion tanks, and it's 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 an awesome game. It's very cool. There's a, a a very large scope to it. This fucking game should have been the movie by rights, and um, yeah, it does a fantastic job of expanding a story of something that is by all standards shit. Uh, next up. Uh, Bracket Comics, they released a number of tie-in comics, uh, the first one was Before the Rise, and the art in it is actually pretty awesome, it's, it's, I, I really do like the artwork in it, and like with Terminator The Redemption, the storyline is, uh, is, uh, pretty wicked, it's, it's essentially the reprogramming of the T-800, and, uh, how it's, how it's developed to kind of send back in time, and project John and sometimes with uh, movie uh, tie-in comics the art and the story is lackluster this isn't the case and it's not just because the movie is shit it's because the writing in this is really good and the art in this is really good um, and there was another one called Fragmented which focuses on the uh, TX and the artwork the artwork is pretty awesome in it and uh, yeah it's it's these are actually pretty cool comics and um it's it's kind of sad that uh the comics surpassed the movie for a plot line if you are interested in more terminator comics i can always plug other stuff i would check out the uh, terminator omnibus by dark horse comics and some of the uh some of the art and stuff has dated but it's still pretty cool and it's just it's just it's interesting to kind of see the old school kind of terminator comics and some of the ideas. This one features actually Dudley, the uh, human Terminator hybrid, and uh, it's it's pretty interesting. So if you get a chance, check out the uh, Dark Horse uh, Terminator Omnibus. So, all in all, what did I think of Terminator 3? It's a farce. It's a joke. It has very few saving graces. If you want my advice, stick to 1 and 2. So, all in all, my thoughts on Terminator 3? That's my thoughts on Terminator 3. This has been the Trash Picture Show. My name is Martin. Like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, don't watch this movie. Don't dare. Don't even attempt to watch this movie. Have a good one. Take care.
Bye now.